What's up everybody, it's been a while. I'm back with another video. Um, and just so you all know, I, I've done a little rebranding for my channel. Now it's called 921 TV, all right? So make sure, make sure you peep that when you're checking out my videos. Anyway, in my last video, I was talking about cookout and how how it was for me there. Um, I believe my next stop after that was when I worked at Abercrombie and Fitch at uh, at North Point Mall. For all of you that are familiar with Alpharetta, Georgia, I worked at Aber uh, I worked at Abercrombie and Fitch at North Point Mall, and um, the girl that I had mentioned in my I believe it was in my Publix video. She was actually still my girlfriend at this time. So, you know, she kind of went on that a &F journey with me. Um, I think Abercrombie and Fitch was probably the most chill job that I had up to that point. Just because everybody, like, I think our manager was like 20, was young, was younger than me. Or about the same age. I forget how old I was. I, I, like, I was in between 20 and 25. But my manager was like 23. And then the store manager was like 27. Um, anyway, but the, but the point was like it's real chill. For anyone who's been in Abercrombie and Fish, they always smell in their their custom cologne or perfume, whatever that is, you know, in the store. So when you walk in and smell it, but like I said, like it was pretty chill. I'm sure it's not like that at every single Abercrombie and Fish, but I know, like even coming out, moving out to where I, I am now. Um, their clothes are expensive regardless of where you go, Georgia or here in Arizona or wherever. They're just expensive, man. But for me, like, I don't know. Like, I liked it. The pay was sh complete ish. Ish. Okay. And I think that was just like a Georgia thing. I don't believe ANF has bad pay everywhere, but. I was making seven twenty-five down in Georgia. That's minimum wage for uh, Georgia, the state of Georgia. And um, so, you know, there had to be something else that was like that drew me <laughs> to work there. You know, sure it wasn't the pay or the benefits for that matter. I think aside from it being chill, like there was a lot of girls, like they weren't bad, like how you hear about, and you know, especially nowadays in social media and Instagram and stuff like that. But they were cute. There were a lot of cute girls. My manager was cute. There's this other tall girl. She was cute. There was another girl. She she was like athletic, I guess. Her parents were really athletic. So I assume she was too, just by, you know, genetics. She she wasn't like cute, like ass cute. But I still would have gotten with her, so you know. She she wasn't feeling me though, so you know, whatever. And then there was this other girl. She was cute. She had a big butt, so you know I know like I already know, dudes would have been all over her had they known what I knew. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. Had they worked at that store during that time, they would have been all over. Her. But she had a boyfriend. I think that, actually I think that's the main reason why she wasn't feeling me. Um, because when I first saw her, she she was eyeballing me and all that stuff. So, but like like I've already said, nothing really. I mean. Nothing turned out from that, you know, so. But, um, I mean, aside from that, uh, the discount wasn't all that. It was like 10 or 15%. I think it was like 10 or 15%, like 20%, something like that. Like, it wasn't that great. Hopefully, the discount is better now. I haven't been at a and for some years now. So, um, is a and a job that I would work at now? Eh, probably not just because even though I really hope the pay is better I mean there's no guarantee that it is it's just not where I want to be pay wise or you know anywhere else for that matter because it's kind of like what's the point you know ANF is a good store for like let's say if you got some money or if your parents have money because it's a store where a lot of teeny bops work and shop you know, sometimes you'll you'll see parents in there or older folk, but usually they're not shopping for themselves. So it's a teeny bop store, basically. 
and you got A and F kids, which I, I don't know much about that. I assume it's the same thing, but you know, kid related, but who knows? Anyway, y'all, I gotta close out this video, okay? So that was my Abercrombie and Fitch uh, story slash experience. So I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Peace out.